Creating your own infographics has never been easier. This is another flipped classroom tutorial. Now if this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification and let's get into it. The app we're looking at today is called Pic2Chart. Now Pic2Chart is a very powerful, easy to use infographic maker that you can use with your students or by yourself to create content that you then share with them. Now let's have a look at the Pic2Chart website. Now Pic2Chart.com is how you get there. I will have a link in the description below and you can click on the start for free button. Now again, as always, we're looking at the free offering of this application. If you want more functionality, more templates, more options, then you will obviously have to look into a premium account. But as with all my videos, we are going to explore the free options and see what you can do with these free options in your classroom. Now, I've already been logged in and we are going to select that we are teaching. There we go. What is your organization size? Now let's keep it to 100 up to a thousand and we are going to submit this. Now, this is your main dashboard. Now on the left hand side, you have your dashboard infographic presentation printable. More about that late. Now let's start by creating our very first infographic. So click on the create new button. Now when you create a new button, you will see that you have three simple templates available. You have the infographic, the presentation and a printable. Now for the sake of this demonstration, we are looking at the infographic. We're going to create an infographic. Now you can always find presentation and printable on the left hand side. And this is where you can then see the free templates. And you can also have a look at some pro templates. Now the pro templates are only available once you've purchased a license. Now back to infographics and free templates. Now the template I'm going to select for my infographic is going to be, I quite like this one. So let's go ahead and preview this template. It's a satisfaction survey. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and use this template. Now click on use template and it's going to create your own version. So it's creating a copy that you can now edit. Now, the first thing that I would suggest is that you title this template. So let's go ahead and call this our very first infographic. Now, this is going to be an infographic about, let's say, flipped classroom tutorials. So I'm going to go to the title. I'm going to change all the text. So go ahead and play around with your templates and change all the text according to what you would like to present or represent in a infographic. Now I'm going to fast forward this video so that you can see what my infographic looks like at the end. Now, if you would like to upload your very own photos or your own images, then you can always search for photos where you can click on the plus icon and upload images. Now I'm going to browse my images and I'm going to go ahead and find my flipped classroom tutorial logo which I am going to upload. And we're just going to leave all of the template information on this infographic. I can simply change the percentages manually, or you will see that these interactive charts allow me to click on this little icon and tweak the data represented. So let's say that I want to change this into, let's say 10% and then somewhat will be 30% and the remaining percentages will be 60%. There we go. And I can now update my chart and you will see automatically the colors and numbers and charts are updated. So all the charts in your templates are interactive. Now, once you finish this, very simple, you can preview the infographics. So let's go ahead and preview our infographic. You can see it's very interactive. So as I scroll over these bars, I get my percentages, I get more information. Here I get more information as well. Now let's exit the preview and let's go ahead and download this file. Now you can see I can download it as a PNG file, which is an image file, but I could also level up and use a premium account and download it as an interactive PDF file. Now for all purposes in class or with students, I would say PNG files are more than appropriate. We're going to use a medium quality and we are going to download it as a PNG file. 
it is now rendering this image using all the data and all the information that I have put into my template and our PNG file has been downloaded so when I click on this image you will see it opens the file and there we go I have my infographic it is a very beautiful long infographic you can obviously zoom in as you would and here we go very easy to use now are there any more options absolutely you can click on share and share the link with anyone you'd like you can go back to graphics and add some lines photographs shapes and icons you can even tweak the background change all the text add little frames to your texts change the color scheme and under tools you will find more charts maps and even videos so to summarize a very powerful way of creating infographics with a very easy to use interface now this is perfect for students and have them use infographics to represent what they've learned what they've found their findings anything you can think of I would love to hear from you in the comment section below how you are going to use infographics how have you used infographics in the past where did you get them from did you create them by yourself and can you see yourself using pick to charts as a tool for students and as a tool to create charts for your students I will be reading all comments left below and I hope you found this video helpful. I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.